Welcome to another edition of Catching Up with the Ramily, brought to you by New York Presbyterian, joined by Fordham football head coach Joe Conlon. Emmanuel Barbari with you. Coach, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. It'll be a lot of fun. Coach, the season suspended and the Patriot League comes out with the news last week. Disappointing news for sure. What was your message to the team when the news broke? Well, the message is, as it was the whole time throughout this, uh, the pandemic is, at some point we're going to play. So, um, you know, our starts delayed a little bit. That's okay. That's an opportunity for us to get a little bit better, for guys to get a little bit healthier. Um, you know, we can make gains uh, in the weight room. And, you know, I think our guys worked hard uh, over, over the break. But it's obviously with gyms being closed and not being with our strength and conditioning staff, obviously things are a little bit different. So this is an opportunity, you know, assuming the school opens for us to get back on campus, get back to, to really con a continuation of the great offseason we had last, uh, we were having last uh, spring uh, and hopefully move forward and play this spring or next fall. You mentioned that you'll still play. It's just a matter of when, and mm -hmm. this has been a ever evolving situation. How optimistic are you that there will be a season just pushed over to the spring? Uh, I'm very optimistic. There'll be a season when it happens. You know, I, I can't speak to that. Um, you know, you could drive yourself crazy uh, read, you know, reading the news, uh, you know, it's somewhat uh, up and down, but listen, you know, it's, certainly college football is not done. And certainly college football at is not done. So we're going to play. Just, you know, just let us know when and then we'll go from there. The strength and conditioning aspects put on hold in terms of being at Rose Hill with the strength and conditioning staff. How will the players stay fresh to ensure that should there be a season just a few months removed from now, they'll be ready to go? Yeah, well, Coach Gilfeder has done a great job of reaching out to our student athletes and, and you know, figuring out what they had for, for equipment. and giving them some suggestions about what they could do. You know, if it was strictly body weight um, or if they had some dumbbells or if they had access to a home gym or you know, things like that. So coaches have done a great job. And I think the guys feel like they're in a pretty good spot considering the circumstances. Um, you know, assuming we can get guys uh, back on campus here towards the end of August, um, you know, depending on what uh, our weight room protocols are, we feel confident that we can get, you know, the team through the weight room four times a week and, and should be in a great position from a strength and conditioning standpoint whenever we do resume playing, hopefully this spring uh, or sometime late next summer. Coach, you talked about keeping tabs on the team. What are some of the ways throughout this entire time you've been able to stay in touch with the players? Any team activities you've instilled? Well, just, you know, a lot of uh, – we do a weekly team meeting. Um, and, you know, and I kind of ran out of things to say probably uh, in early June. So what we started to do was have guest speakers. And we've had some, you know, we have one of the benefits of being in Fordham is we have fantastic alumni. So uh, we've had some unbelievable alumni speakers. You know, Mr. Calls addressed the team a few times. Uh, so it's been fantastic. And obviously, um, with what's happening in the country uh, with regards to social justice and Black Lives Matter and the death of Mr. Floyd, you know, we've had some, some very poignant conversations as a team. And ultimately, I think uh, everything we've done over the last four months uh, will only serve to bring us closer together as a team and, and ultimately make it that much more special when we do get to come back to, uh, to Rose Hill and after it. Has there been anything that stuck out in those conversations in terms of social justice and a, and a team camaraderie that's that's been forged through those conversations? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think our guys just understand each other's experiences uh, a little bit more. And, and, you know, we have a great group of kids, but, you know, from all from all different backgrounds. And, and that's a really good thing that makes us a better team. I think once everyone kind of understands uh, a little bit better, you know, just what it's like to be um, from any uh, fat, you know, any part of this country, or any socioeconomic status. So, you know, I think our guys have done an unbelievable job and, and we've set up subcommittees and things like that. But, uh, you know, our guys are doing a great job addressing this and staying on top of it and, and allowing it to be a constant 
conversation within the team. Coach, you had a strong recruiting class coming in this season. How does it affect the incoming players in addition to how you can recruit moving forward, given the uncertainty of when the season will happen? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we're recruiting as planned and, and uh, that, that, you know, we will be continuing to bring in incoming classes. And, and you know, for the guys that are were supposed to be uh, starting their football careers you know, this August, you know, they still, they, they are, you know, they're starting their football careers this August. It's just uh, gameplay has been postponed temporarily. So, um, you know, we, we, we expect uh, the same level of focus and effort that we would, you know, where we coming into fall camp this August and, and they understand that. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously we're certainly understanding of circumstances and things like that. And we talk to our guys all the time, of, you know, you're allowed to be frustrated um, and, and you're allowed to be upset uh, by the fact that the, the season is canceled or postponed, let's say. But at the same time, you know, we still have work to do and we are going to come back and play. So uh, when we get back together, it's going to be time to, uh, to do that work. So come this spring, if we're allowed to have a season, you know, we're ready to go. The team took a lot of strides last year. One of its strengths is the fact that it's a very young team. You had a lot of returning players this year, particularly at key positions. Do you take any solace in the fact that during this, this difficult, challenging time, you have a lot of returning players and you're likely to have them when this is all said and done? Yeah, it's certainly great to have, uh, I think someone said we have 91% of our returning starters coming back. Uh, that's a great thing. Um, you know, I, I feel really good about this team, really excited about our upper class leadership. Uh, you know, our four captains have been doing a fantastic job. Nick Sakel, Trey Sneed, Jesse Bramble, and Glenn Cunningham. So, um, you know, it's, we were really having a, an exceptional off season in the spring. We were very fortunate to be able to get six spring practices uh, completed before the shutdown. So, you know, really just as a coaching staff, we want to get these guys back and uh, get back to just having fun together. And, and that's kind of what we were doing in, in March. Coach, appreciate you taking the time. Stay well, stay healthy, and thanks for coming on. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Manny. Anytime.